Hi, I'm Rajesh from SRK English Academy. Uh, today we are going to talk about Emily Dickinson's poem, How Happy is the Little Stone. So let's jump into the poem. How Happy is the Little Stone is a poem by American poet Emily Dickinson. So she was an American poet. She was unrecognized in her own time. She began writing poetry at a young age. Uh, she was a daughter of successful lawyer. She never married and lived as a recluse all her life. Though she wrote more than 1700 uh, short poems, only seven were published in her lifetime. So this is about uh, the poet Emily Dickinson. So let's uh, read the lines of the poem. This is the 10 line uh, poem. It's uh, structured into a one stanza. So let's read the lines. I'll explain the poem line by line. Okay. So let's see the structure of the poem first. So see uh, the rhyme scheme is A A B B C C. So end rhyme. Stone alone. A A. Careers fears. B B. Brown on. C C. So rhyme scheme is A A B B C C. So uh, before uh, jumping into the uh, poem, so let us see uh, let us see the structure of the uh, poem. So here uh, we see uh, themes of happiness, uh, peace, and a purpose of life. So uh, most of your, her poems. Titles are taken uh, from the uh, first line of the poem. So this is also uh, how happy is the little stone. So uh, title is taken from the first line. And here she personifies a little stone. So personification means attributing human characteristics to an inanimate object. Here inanimate object is stone. So, stone is a, a symbol of happiness and here it represents happiness in the poem and it's uh, how it leads a simple life and a happy life uh, the poet explains in the a poem. So, whereas it is uh, the stone is a little stone is contrast to the uh, life of a human being. So, whereas humans lead a stressful life with work pressure, but here a little stone has no worries. So, uh, how happy is the a little stone that rambles in the road alone? A ramble means to move about aimlessly. Here, uh, the stone, little stone, has no aim. It has no uh, destination. It moves by the current of the wind and current of the water. So uh, it moves anywhere, but it, ha it has no uh, direction. So it rambles in the road alone. Here uh, the poet emphasizes the pleasures of simplicity in life. So and also we see here uh, dash and also all the letters in the uh, each line. First letter is uh, capitalized. So this is an uncon unconventional, unconventional style of uh, the poet Emily Dickinson. So here the speaker urges us to live a happy life uh, free from stress and work pressure. So here the little uh, stone is unworried by uh, life of uh, stress and she urges us to live a stress-free life and doesn't care about careers and exigencies never fears. Here exigency means Exigency means an urgent situation, urgent need. 
so the stone doesn't have any urgency and it doesn't have any urgent needs like a human beings and it the stone doesn't have a career whereas humans has to uh, grow in their profession they needs to uh, do well in their life in their studies so here the stone has no a career like a human beings and no urgency no urgent situation we see so that's why it is that's why it is free from all worries so here and let's uh, read uh, next line how uh, whose coat of element elemental brown a passing uh, universe uh, put on so here elemental means related to the powers of nature so a passing universe put on so the stone is also a part of the universe and here uh, we know that uh, stone doesn't wear any coat but here uh, the stone is personified so uh, the stone has become brown with dust or muddy so and independent as the sun associates or glow alone so here uh, the stone is uh, compared to the sun so it is a simile so the stone is as independent as the sun the sun glows alone it it doesn't need any support to shine it shines on its own so in the same way the little stone is independent and carefree and lives solitude life a solitary life so here uh, the poet praises its independent a uh, carefree life so here uh, whereas uh, humans whereas humans are not independent they have work pressure and they have also a family pressures to uh, they uh, face many difficulties in their life here let's go to another line fulfilling absolute decree so decree means an official order here uh, it implies a command from god or the a uh, universe so uh, here the stone little stone is also a part of the universe it plays its role and it is very it leads a simple life so here the poet emphasizes simplicity in life so uh, the poet stresses on leading a simple life as stone so here uh, we can see uh, in casual simplicity so the poem title how happy is a little stone is also uh, called a uh, simplicity so simplicity also the poem how happy is little stone also known as a uh, simplicity so with this uh, we finish analysis of the poem and on the next slide i have given you uh, the summary of the uh, poem for your examination uh, uh, for your seven examinations please uh, go through those uh, lines so this is the summary of the uh, poem how happy is the little stone and i have also given you about the author and about the poem for uh, detailed notes please visit my blog english language hyphen lit dot blogspot dot com thank you for watching this video